So I'm Jeffrey Wittenhagen. Hi, my name's Adam Korlick. Hi, I'm Leonard Herman. Uh, I'm the author of Phoenix. Sure, my name is David Crossan, and I work here at a video game con. I'm one of the lead con organizers. Uh, so my name is Antoine Claironneau. I'm a video game historian. Hey, I'm Gil. Uh, I have a channel called Gilly the Kid. And you better check out Time Force Gamers. What got me into collecting? All right, so um, I've been collecting for about 30 years now, and you know, it's almost my entire life. And basically, I was just the kid that never got rid of anything. So as I got older, things started to accumulate, and I started to get these things called a collection. Is there anything I don't like about collecting? There's two things. Obviously, one is financial. Is Collecting is stupid. Let's be real, it's a dumb thing to be doing. It's not financially sound or logical. But you do it anyway because you have fun with it. That's you know your entertainment budget, basically. That's what you're doing. And uh, the other part of it that I don't like is the physical space limitations. You know, when you're collecting stuff, you have to put it somewhere unless you're getting rid of it. You get one, it's like any other collection. It doesn't matter if it's stamps or baseball cards or Pokemon. Uh, you start with one, you got to get them all. And um, you, you just keep collecting until you run out of room and then you try to find a way to afford more room. So that's really what got me into collecting, just to kind of relive the memories that I had. I think YouTube has skyrocketed the value of games. Um, I, I, I would say, oh, you know, I think it's helped to some degree. No, I really think it's one of the main reasons retro gaming is, is, is so popular and so expensive, and it's kind of a double-edged sword. And um, I came across some of the rare games, you know, your Keltron 6-in-1s that people kind of covet now. And I got those as a kid at yard sales because I've always went to flea markets and yard sales. So my favorite part about collecting, it's sort of, it comes full circle where I enjoy collecting cardboard and I enjoy collecting the manuals. So having a physical thing that I can collect but also play and enjoy, such as a video game, it kind of goes hand in hand for me. Where, you know, yeah, I can collect figures and merchandise, which I do and I enjoy, but video games, it's something that I can collect and enjoy to look at with the amazing covers that are out there, um, the artwork, but I can also play and enjoy these games. I noticed I started accumulating a lot of these games I had and I started buying them back from Funko Land. I said, you know what, let's see how many I can get. Next thing I know, I had hundreds of them, so I just, and then I decided, yeah, I'm gonna sell my duplicates, and it some, somewhat became like a business out of it. To me, what was always the most fun was um, getting through the list, collecting through it, knowing I'm 50% through now, or I have 100 of 300 games. But when you got close to the end, and you knew, I've got 10 left to do, or I've got five hard ones and three easy ones. Like around 10 years ago, I started collecting really seriously and I got like uh, many different systems and I collect also um, for, for me for historical purposes. I really want to, uh, to preserve uh, stuff and uh, like video games, games, uh, sometimes prototype or some stuff that were uh, uh, given to journalists to, to test video games in, um, in their redaction. So it was, yeah, uh, yeah collecting came just uh, naturally actually. When, uh, with my passion for video games. What got me interested in collecting? Well, I always liked older video games in the current generation. Even when I was a teenager and I was playing games on the uh, PC and Super Nintendo, I had a weird fondness even for the Atari 2600 at that point. I remember going to my neighbor and asking him if he would sell his Atari 2600 to me at the time. It wasn't worth anything. It wasn't special. I just thought it was interesting to play games before I remember them, before I was even alive. That was, that was something that was interesting to me even at the time. And I guess I sort of carried on forward from there. I had the collecting bug and I couldn't get rid of it. And then when I bought my Atari VCS back in 1979, I only bought it for three games. And of course, then I bought more games and more games and more games and that started. God damn! Over 200 bucks for Project Justice? 300 for Virtual Boy? Over 100 for Kid Icarus Uprising? What the fuck?